One of the byproducts of combustion is the formation of varnish on injectors and valve faces. Other forms of naturally occurring contaminants, such as condensation and fungal growths, compound these deposits. The consumer becomes aware of these combustion byproducts due to inconsistent idle and power delivery. Together with higher fuel consumption and excessive exhaust smoke, this will lead the majority to seek out the most cost-effective remedy, a fuel additive. The following comparisons will give you some visual perspective as to the performance of four well-known fuel additives and how effective they are at cleaning, neutralizing and preventing the recurrence of storage and combustion byproducts compared with Fuel Doctor. For this presentation, 5 mils of diesel is being measured into four test tubes. Using petrol, kerosene or two-stroke fuel will provide identical results. Two test tubes are now contaminated with 10 drops of distilled water, representing condensation. The other two tubes are contaminated with 10 drops of sulfuric acid, accelerating gum and varnish formation within the fuel. After inverting the test tubes, you'll note that the water sits at the bottom of the tube, it being heavier than fuel. Fuel is composed of hundreds of chemical compounds, including various chains of sulfur, that under heat and compression oxidize and react with moisture to form sulfuric acid. This then reacts with dozens of other compounds that accelerate gum and varnish formation as can be seen in these test tubes. Different additives have different treat ratios, some as low as 1 litre per 1,000 litres, while Fuel Doctor's treat rate is 1 litre per 4,000 litres. So, for this presentation and expediency, we're going to treat it one to one. Should a product fail at this ratio, what hope when you need it most? Firstly, we pour the comparison product into the gum and varnish, and then the water. Followed by Fuel Doctor. Taking Fuel Doctor first and agitating followed by the comparison product, you can see immediately that Fuel Doctor has removed the gum and varnish into a micro emulsion resulting in a clean surface. However, the comparison product drops the gum and varnish to the bottom of the tube, where it congeals into a solid. Taking the water-contaminated comparison tube and agitating results in a substantial emulsion. Fuel Doctor has encapsulated the water molecules into a micro-emulsion, presenting as a clear, singular solution, thus preventing the water from coming into contact with pump and injector surfaces. Water is the most common form of fuel contamination, should it be diesel or petrol. In the presence of water in bulk storage or even chassis tanks, microbial growths will multiply forming acidic compounds that etch finely machined injector components and pumps, leading to expensive premature failure. We now introduce 5 mils of water and microbial material to both test tubes and agitate. You'll notice that the comparison product now resembles milk. Fuel Doctor has taken the extra water and the microbial material into a micro emulsion, ensuring no blocked filters, no pump or injector damage and the complete removal and combustion of the contaminants from your entire fuel system. For our second comparison, we'll use another well-known brand. Again, we'll measure 5 mils of diesel into two test tubes and introduce 10 drops of distilled water to one, followed by 10 drops of sulfuric acid to the other, and agitate and rotate, allowing the gums and varnish to adhere to the test tube. We now see the water at the test tube bottom and the impacted gum and varnish tube. Again, we'll treat the gum, varnish and water contaminated test tubes with the comparison product at one to one. Agitation of the tubes results in similar effects to the previous comparison. However, the fallout is more dramatic, resulting in a solid plug in the bottom of the tube. Agitation of the water-impacted tube again has identical results to the previous test. Even though the labelling of this product states that it will disperse water and control corrosion, you can see that the water has dropped back to the bottom, where it will continue to promote microbial growth and corrosion. 
We now introduce 5 ml of microbial contaminants and water to the tube and observe the result. As you can see, the performance of this product has been severely compromised as in the previous comparison. Finally, we put two market-leading biocides to the test. Biocides are designed to kill fungal growths, preferably before the growth blocks fuel filters and stops your engine. Again, we dispense 5 ml of diesel into two test tubes and contaminate them with 10 drops of water. Treat at 1 to 1 and then introduce 5 ml of contaminated fuel and water. After agitating both test tubes, the comparison biocides have two distinctive phases. The bottom phase is the water and solvent mix, while the top phase is the diesel and microbial material. However, the contaminants are still evident. Fuel Doctors Australia is a unique engineering company specialising since 1994 in the decontamination and cleaning of inaccessible fuel storage tanks. The proprietary formulation of their fuel injector tank cleaner was born out of necessity. Whether it be a tower crane 50 metres above ground or a coal mining storage tank 150 metres below ground, you want to have confidence in the products you use. Yes, Fuel Doctor is more expensive than other fuel additives. But how expensive are the products that do not work?